field of medical imaging is commonly thought of as one where the human body is volumetrically imaged by X-ray, commuted tomography, MRI, ultrasound, and nuclear medicine, while optical imaging is virtually ignored. Indeed, most market research, instruction, or field analysis of medical imaging focuses on the radiologic perspective of imaging tools, where optics is a footnote related to detector technologies. However, rather than a small role, optics has the dominant role in medical imaging. Commercially, it is the largest valuation of any sector of the field. It has the most diverse products, and its future growth potential is huge. BCC Research estimates the global market for all medical devices at $458 billion in 2015, and a 2012 report pegged the global medical imaging market valuation at $34 billion by 2017. Highlights from BCC Research reports characterize the market into four main segments, including X-ray CT, ultrasound, MRI, and PET scans. BCC has separate market analyses for endoscopy, most recently listed at $32 billion, in 2015, microscopy listed at 4.6 billion in 2015, and ophthalmology estimated to reach 20.2 billion in 2017. A BCC report highlights suggests that the surgical equipment market was valued at 6.1 billion for 2015, and the medical robotics market is also a rapidly emerging segment, listed in a BCC report at 4.1 billion in 2016. The medical laser market is also robust, listed at nearly $5 billion in 2016. A chart summarizing these market valuations is shown above, with the optical systems market comprising roughly two-thirds of the whole. The goal of medical imaging processing is to extract quantitative information to better localize, monitor, and treat medical disorders. There are three main themes in image processing, respectively segmentation, registration and image fusion, and data display and visualization. First of all, segmentation means the partition of an image into overlapping regions that are homogeneous. It aims to provide richer information than that which exists in the original medical images alone. Segmentation identifies or labels any structures that are represented by signal intensities, textures, lines, or shapes, and defines volumes, locations, and provides better visualization or quantization. In IGT, the real patient and image-based model have to be co-registered in the same reference frame. In this registration process, we spatially match data sets that were taken at different times or by different imaging modalities or in different planes. If registration is correct, spatial correspondence between anatomical, functional, or metabolic information can be established. As the surgical opening becomes smaller, the visualization of the direct surgical site is becoming increasingly important but difficult. Virtual reality techniques can be used, and model-based surface or image rendering and computer graphics can be applied to emphasize structures from CT to allow the surgeon to navigate and reverse a surgical situation without directly affecting the patient. Some key confounding factors in image processing are listed here. Tissue distortion due to position change, respiration and gross patient movement introduces errors in data transformation. Another problem is the registration across different image dimensions. Modalities such as CT sample volumetric data in three spatial dimensions. However, other technologies such as X-ray, fluoroscopy, or B-mode sample in two spatial dimensions. To register images of different spatial dimensionality, the transform must account for the image formation model. For instance, the projection and attenuation in X-ray fluoroscopy. What's more, registration in the context of image-guided therapy must often consider the scenario where tissue or objects may be occluded or not present in all images being registered. For example, tissue may not be present in all images due to resection, may not be recognizable or visible due to properties of different image modalities, or the images may contain instruments. Other challenges are raised by real-time display rapid instrument position calibration in a sterile environment. Here are our outlooks regarding to image processing. First, clinical experience with IGT of the brain and prostate in surgeries with larger sections or displacements have revealed the limitations of rigid registration and visualization approaches. It resulted in the development of multiple non-rigid registration algorithms which require minimum user interaction and are compatible with the time constraints of our interventional or surgical clinical workflow. 
Image processing is also essentially patient-specific analysis of image with the goal to obtain multiple images from individuals with pathologies that deviate from the normal population image datasets. These patient-specific models differ significantly from one patient to another or from one time point to another and reflect the patient's distinct personal anatomy, localized pathology, and in some cases, functioning. 4D image reconstruction is also developing. In IGT, the 3D model has to be a dynamic one because it may change during or after procedures. If serial or longitudinal images are collected over time, 4D dynamic models can be generated that can be used to interpret disease progression and monitor response to therapy as they represent intraoperative dynamic changes like shifts and deformations. AR integration of real and imaginary systems play a major role not only in IGT, but also in telesurgery.